How to treat severe cachexia if a person is too weak on oxygen support and can't exercise but has a good appetite. Okay, so cachexia is when, for those of you who don't know, it's when the body is using up its own organs and muscles and other elements for fuel. It's usually severe malnutrition. Now you say you have a good appetite because usually it's associated with a poor appetite, so that's really good. Because one of the things they do with the people who have poor appetite and cachexia is you can actually give them the hormone ghrelin. You know, you ghrelin, but ghrelin is called the hunger hormone. You know, our body produces it and it tells you that you're hungry, right? Yeah, so it's pretty interesting. But anyway, you have a good appetite so you can eat. So the thing is, what we know is that um, uh, getting, the, getting the proper amino acids and uh, glutamine. So we were talking before about glutamine. Uh, should I take glutamine if, I'm, um, if I have cancer since glutamine is fuel? But it's also fuel for our, our white blood cells. It's also fuels for rapidly dividing like our, our gastrointestinal cells. Um, and it's absolutely necessary. We find that when uh, people that have like uh, severe burns, severe trauma, uh, any kind of severe ICU type trauma, chronic powerful inflammation like that, that they get, uh, they wind up having glutamine deficiencies and you can correct it with glutamine. So glutamine is really important for cachexia, uh, but so is uh, isoleucine and some of the other important amino acids are very important. Uh, fatty acids, the omega-3s and 6, really important, but omega, I would just give them all. Omega-9s, I would give coconut oil, give a lot of fatty acids, a lot of fatty acids, give a lot of, uh, um, Make sure you got all the amino acids you can get. You can go, go to a health food store and get, some, or go online and get some complete amino acids. Uh, both, both, because if you got cachexia, you're in trouble. Brands, uh, both uh, uh, essential and non-essential. Remember, essential amino acids are the ones you cannot produce. Non-essential are the ones you can produce. Yeah.